Hi there, I'm Brian Waller, President of the Technology Association of Iowa. Now more than ever, Iowa companies are seeing themselves as technology companies. With me today is Matt Cook, Senior Electrical Engineer at Sucup Manufacturing. Matt, for those that don't know, what does Sucup Manufacturing do? Hey, Brian. Uh, Sucup Manufacturing is the uh, world's largest family-owned and operated grain storage, handling, and uh, drying equipment and steel buildings manufacturer. Um, we're, uh, we're headquartered in Sheffield, Iowa. We cover more than a, uh, a million square feet under roof and manufacturing. Uh, we employ more than 600 people, uh, making it uh, one of the largest employers in North Central Iowa. Um, and we are uh, three generations active in the family business. Uh, uh, we, uh, our product lines include on-farm and commercial grain storage, uh, portable mixed flow tower dryers, uh, centrifugal and axial fans, uh, and heaters. Uh, stirring machines, bin unloading equipment, bin floors, and supports. And we also manufacture a full line of material handling equipment, including bucket elevators, conveyors, support structures, and steel buildings. So um, in general, if it's made out of steel, uh, we buy it and make it and fab it. And, uh, and we do that pretty much exclusively here in Sheffield for manufacturing. Uh, we also have six distribution centers across the Midwest. Um, we have uh, we have product in all 50 states, uh, including uh, um, uh, Hawaii and Alaska, and uh, we have uh, sold products um, in more than 85 countries. Great. So, how has technology innovation propelled Sucup Manufacturing during the time of this pandemic? Well, um, we we had the fortunate uh, uh, luck or foresight or whatever you want to call it um, to have actually made some significant investments in tech over the last few years. Um, uh, I've been proud to help uh, uh, lead that team. Um, we invested uh, uh, with some Iowa companies here this last couple of years in um, server infrastructure, in um, in broadband and connectivity, uh, and with that tech has really allowed us to really continue a business that's traditionally based very locally um, and allowed our people to continue to working remotely, um, uh, something that would not have been possible if we wouldn't have uh, been on the ball about it. So that's, uh, that's been a real neat uh, piece of this. So Matt, what positive changes come out of this unique time? The situation has actually uh, forced us to do things that we've been putting on hold for a long time. Uh, we launched our first webinar uh, uh, a series on YouTube. We, uh, we did our first webcast virtual meetings for our dealers, which we would never do. They're always in person, um, reaching over 200 people. Uh, it's been really a cool thing to be able to see uh, how people have accepted the challenge and, uh, and really started to push through it. So that's been a really cool thing that has happened. So what does the future hold for your industry and Sucup Manufacturing? Well, we're going to continue to monitor the situation. I'm, you never know, you know, how long this is, is going to happen, um, uh, or what the lasting impacts are going to look like over the next uh, the year, next five years. Who knows? Um, but uh, we're going to continue to be able to invest in technology, in process, um, in automation. Uh, those are the things that we found that uh, that give us the best bang for our buck, and it will also. Uh, continue to drive business our way with uh, um, with the commodity prices where they are right now. And uh, we're gonna do the things that we need to to be able to meet that demand. Well, great. Matt Cook with Sucup Manufacturing. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks for all you're doing for the Iowa technology community and the community at large. Have a great day. Appreciate it, Brent.